We told you last week about a 10-year-old girl who was hit and killed while riding her bicycle to school. Well, today, before summer vacation begins, her classmates received a special gift in her honor. News 5's Catrice Nolan was in Escambia County to capture the moment. Smiles all around the media center. At Cairo Elementary School, despite what students have been through the last week. To help honor Lily, we were contacted by the community traffic safety team, and they wanted to come out and make sure that each of our children went home with a helmet to ensure summer safety. All 842 students professionally fitted and given a helmet almost free of charge to ride safely during summer vacation. All in honor of their classmate, little 10-year-old Delilah Rose Clark, who lost her life riding her bike on the way to school Thursday here at the intersection of Merlin Road and Oakview Drive. Neighbors believe she was not wearing a helmet. Well, being a mother, you know, when something happened like that, we all internalize it, you know, because we have kids. So we know that there's a, a concern for every parent that's here, and we know that every parent here felt what that mother felt. So to keep tragedy from striking twice, volunteers, parents, and school administrators came together to keep kids riding safely. To know that my kid now is a helmet that's been professionally fit for their head, I feel safer. I know they feel safer. So I think the importance of helmets is something that everybody should know. And the safety team got most of the helmets for free. The helmets for kindergartners were paid for by the PTA. Reporting in Escambia County, Catrice Nolan, News 5. 47-year-old Frederick Wilder was arrested in the child's death. Wilder is charged with failure to yield. Delilah will be laid to rest Thursday at St. Anne's Church in Pensacola. The family says the public is 